My name is Vincent Abriou and I work in the AI team as a computer vision expert. As you may know, last year we released the STM32Cube.ai tool that is able to convert pre-trained neural network into an optimized code for our STM32 product. This year we are more focusing on trying what we could achieve with this tool, especially on computer vision, to address home appliance, wearable, industrial and toy markets. In this demo, based on STM32 H7, that has been done in collaboration with the CEA, a French uh, research institute, uh, we, are implement we have implementing uh, face identification, which is able to identify up to eight persons uh, in a row. You can imagine to have uh, this kind of application in home appliance for user to increase user experience to change some settings parameters. Face expression demo is based also on STM32 H7 and is able to detect your mode. Up to seven kinds of expression is able to be detected, like sadness, happiness. And you can imagine to have this kind of application on toys to increase user experience based on the user expression. Here we show the STM32 MP1 microprocessor on which we, we have implemented a TensorFlow light neural network for image classification. Image classification is able to classify picture among 1000 classes and you can imagine to have this in a fridge or in a freezer to detect low supply. With the sensor tile box, we are demonstrating a distributed intelligence. One is done on the smart sensor for the human activity recognition and on the other part is done on STM32 to do same audio classification. You can imagine to have this in a wearable device in order to detect that a user is driving to enable the BLE for example or to when the user is outside to disable the Wi-Fi in order to set some power. So this product is done by the company called 5 Voxel. This is based on the 3D camera with a time of flight and is able to have gesture recognition. You can imagine to have this kind of feature in a home appliance like an extractor hood when you are cooking and your hands are dirty and you want to enable or disable the extractor hood. This demo is done by one of partners named Nalbi and they are providing a solution for face identification with a self environment on which you can have up to 500 faces. So for the last demo, let me introduce you Mark from Cartesium that will show you what they are doing with the sensor tile. Hi, I am Mark Dupaki. I'm a founder of Cartesium. Uh, we are a ST Micro partner and we are based in France, US and Germany. So um, what we're doing here is software machine learning software that runs on Cortex-M MCUs. Uh, I have a demo that I will show you today. So we have here um, a small sensor. The learning is made on the sensor as well as the analysis. So we uh, decided to uh, analyze a pretty difficult engine. You can see here, we simulate a fan. We actually have two fans. They go on, they go off, they stop, they go slow, they go fast, and all this is being random, so very difficult. So, so we, have been we have been doing the learning, so now you know, this is monitoring the system, and I will, I will simulate a problem. So for example, if that's a, you know, a fan here, air filter being dirty, so I'm fooling with the air, and as you can see here on the small screen, the anomaly is being detected. So that's typically how it works. Very hard, uh, very hard uh, thing to analyze being done on, uh, on the MCU. So, and here, I have no time to do it today, but obviously uh, you can see more of it on www.cartesium.ai. That's a software that will enable embedded developer uh, to develop the solution that they will embed into their solution. So thank you very much for your time. If you want more detail, you can go on cartesium.ai or on st.com. Thank you very much. Goodbye.